Yes, we just we watch like five episodes now. I usually all, only film like two to three top. It's not that I can't. It's just my eyes. The softbox really hurts my eyes for if we shot in long period of time. But it is for our long arc. I really want to see how this guy is gonna end because he said it himself. If he breaks the rule, he's gonna die. I really want to see if he's gonna die. I am not someone who wants to see pain in someone else. I still eat meat, but if I can, I will go vegan or simply just broke his nose. Cut it out. Okay, let's get into the video. Okay, OBS one, two, three. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? And the look in his eyes, he is finally he looks as furious as Arlong. Like the way Arlong's eyes turns into some kind of animal looking, like bloodthirsty. That's exactly why Luffy wants her. この女は天才だよ。<笑><笑> Use. Use the word use. There are blood stains on her pen. It's obvious she's not in friend. She's married too. Nanda, Kiribati, Pikuri Tamu Gokane. He holds it. どうしそこだが頭のいいよ。他の人間とも飛ぶネズミとしてだ。差し詰め草生意気な猫って何にしろ可愛いもんだ。好きな服も買ってやる。生きるのにことかくことは。いつ永遠に俺のと。いや、
やっとあいつを助ける方法が分かったあいつの居場所なんて俺が全部ぶっ壊してやる<笑>ガムガムなこのアロッパガコン How many parts of you need to do that? Oh, I thought it was our mom. Isn't he dead? Uh oh! Luffy! Luffy's gonna be okay! He's forever a boy! The very symbol of, his, of her oppression. But if Arlong is not bad, he will be able to continue his oppression towards this village. Is Alan さまらのような名もない海賊ごときに魚人どもが世もや負けようなどとは思う。<笑> ベルメールさんのみ。ありがとうなみ。ありがとうなみ。ありがとうなみ。ありがとうなみ。ありがとうなみ。ありがとうなみ。ありがとうなみ。ありがとうなみ。ありがとうなみ。ありがとうなみ
天国へ行けるなはい海軍本部本部いいか麦わら帽子をかぶったルフィという海賊並びに以下4名のその一味を我が政府の敵と見なすルフィかのアーロンパークの無敵とまで言われた巨人アーロン一味を打ち崩す脅威牽制を考慮の上一味の船長麦わらのルフィの首に多額の賞金をかけられたし写真を送る了解ハムデハッターフォトグラフああもっとマシなのは取れなかったのかこっち上に承認を求めるいいなそいつは凶悪な外族だ生死問わず全世界指名手配の賞金組にしてくれ Finally, our lungs. You see, I'm,、uh, English is not my, fir my first language, and therefore, speaking English is kind of giving me trouble sometimes. And especially at times like this, after I film more than three episodes, I, I, I use those stutters and don't know what to say. Okay, let's talk about the room that we're in Amis for eight years. The drawing of the room somehow is a little bit pale. I know, like, the drawing on one piece is mostly some kind of watercolor, but especially that room, they made the room with more like pale Sophia colors, brownish color, and somehow the placing of the books and the, the coloring of the room makes me feel how. Like, I know how lonely she felt in that room, and especially after the pan that Luffy saw and it has bad stains on it. I can't imagine if she wasn't going out there to make money for the village. Oh, it, this is the if cost formula. If she doesn't go out there to find money for the villager, she would be still working there until. I don't know until she's dead, I suppose. And working there, she will be oppressed her whole life. And her way of freeing the villagers finally brought her to, to be Luffy's crew and her skill to be renowned finally. Seeing how Luffy sent all the stuff flying, like breaking all the paperwork, sent the desk flying.、Uh -huh. It gives me creeps how, how one could endure such an oppression all that time. And not to mention, she was little when she was being abused by Erlong. Then again, how, will, how old is actually Erlong? How does age work for fishmen? And when she was around then, he was already looking like that. He, he looks like round, like at least he was 25. And now he still looks the same. And the thing that I love is when Luffy is destroying stuff inside Namir's room, Namir looks surprised, but it turns out to be a relief surprise. He was glad he's doing it, and he knows what he's doing. At first, I thought he was someone who only d o something by doing it. He's not like really thinking something, something truly, not that deep though, but seeing how he breaks. The entire building because it probably reminds Nami of the past she has to endure and how badly they treated her for seeing the blood stain on the pen. I love the view for that. And on the last scene, he was like exclaiming his love. Like I said, his love, love for friendship. He's exclaiming his friendship with Nami. It's a way to say he loves. Nami as his Nakama. And the music when Nami said thank you, oh, ding 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 ding. It's kind of, I feel like crying again thinking about the music. It was so touching. And everybody seemed so happy for Nami. It was all thanks to Luffy. I thought he has to step into the game at first. But turns out we need no help. Luffy was so angry to see how badly they treated Nami. Maybe he, he thought at first they treat Nami equally as、uh, Luffy treat Nami, but it's not. I'm glad Nami grows into someone who's witty and still have. Of course, she had some trust issue, but she won't have any after this、uh, chapter. 
and they should still have that tattoo i thought he was on he was like only stabbing the tattoo maybe the tattoo will help her some more someday or maybe it's already part of her but what will arlong do now is he done for i mean someone as strong as he he could probably go back it must be embarrassing for someone as him and what about momo i wish he could go back to the grand line by himself someone as file as him should not be alive okay guys i think that's it for this episode i'm really glad to see how this ends Arlong is not said easy to be defeated i like how the battle were i can say even between luffy and arlong and we know that arlong is very strong and that also gives us a sense of how strong luffy is and given his face he looks like an innocent boy like nothing knowing nothing about the world but he has the guy who's the guy shank is it who gave him his hat to kind of like a way guide him to be what kind of pirate he will be now we have everyone back into the crew we also have the merry-go-round what's the ship name merry-go-round merry-go Mary -go. uh we have nami back i thought okay i feel so sorry to head nami at first but now knowing why she did that she did that for so many people and they can use all the money to build their town again amazing so i love how this ends really glad i watched one piece because each arc is different from another and it's not boring at all well i know if he will win eventually but i i really don't know when will he win we really don't know i like it i think that's it for this episode i'm gonna see you in the next one on another arc we're gonna sail through the sea to the bright line and then maybe we can find momo with he reunite with his species again and maybe we can find our own species too maybe they're nice maybe our long is one of the bad apple on his knee i think this apple as when a lover say they love you first before you do Who's gonna be the little kid? That means you're going to be plenty of food for the between. It like the Arlong Park crumbles the symbol of the downfall of Arlong Park. See. <laughs> Ship doctor, a musician, and a ship doctor. だから、どうして先なんだよ。絶対聞かない。ゲンさん、もう、ミスターグルーズアーディフロム。お前の気持ちはもう決まっているんだろう。だろう、思い通り生きろ。お前の母親のように。オッケー。オッケー。で、あ、ティングルーズアーディフロム
村全体が立食パーティーだからなどこから持ってきたかもう行ったよあいつは食い込んだのは一つ Yeah, typical Sanji. I've ever seen Logico and Nami. He will have enough. <laughs> The little kid was like, What is this guy doing? He's so weird. <laughs> Hello, Mugiwara. He's also a tattoo artist. These guys. No, 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 Looks like it's brand new. Oh, she's dressing up like a cowboy. What's up, really, Sang? 300 top? Ooh, Sanji, you look happy. What's that? Are those money? I should like to collect it. But it was for. It was for Arlong, but now Arlong has died. What are they going to do with it? Today's <laughs> ナミと野次子に初めて会った日なんだよ。二人が私の娘になった日さ。こら、泣くな。嵐で畑が全滅してくらいな。辛いことがあったって笑ってられる強い女の子になるんだ。そしたら楽しいことがやってくるから。そう
俺がこの船に乗る意味は 98.72% ねえじゃねえかお前などこにもなかったぞ生半メロンなんだと金を全部置いていくだとあの1億ベリーをかわいい手紙と一緒にいいよ The thing about Belmere is, she she seems so lovely. She seems like an incredible soul, and just to be taken away by someone as bad as Arlong. If we remember how she died, it just feel unfair. She never does anything that hurts people, but in the end, she died by people's action. It was crazy. She died just like that, and at the very end, I don't think. Arlong really died. Why did he have to do such a thing? Why don't Arlong just like, if you don't follow what I say, I'm gonna do this to your kids. She's gonna do it. What? Why does he have to kill her? And of all people, he decided to kill Belmere as if he knows that Belmere has such a, a huge impact on this village. Like he's an icon. Of course, Nami wants her tattoo on her body were drawn in a form of Tangerine as Belmere and the pinwheel. I think the tattoo means home and strength. These two people doesn't seem to back up on things when it comes to the people that they love. And I just want to say that the Belmere's hairstyle, I just don't get it. Did she have the hairstyles because she wants to join the army? Or was it like an ancestral hairstyle? Was she was she a Viking? Does Viking have that kind of hairstyles? But the thing, the first thing that came up into my mind were like Viking. I bet she's European. And Nojiko, she should be, she should be black. But the way she, the, she was represented on this anime, I can help but think of uh, the Ganguro, Ganguro, Ganguro style in Japan. 
And for Nami, she got a B also European. She's a redhead after all. I think I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!